Guys, what's up? We got some pretty cool news here. So for those of you who are out of the loop, uh, as of recent, there have been absolutely no uh, official Pokemon tournaments. Like there are no regionals, there are no internets, there's there's nothing. There aren't even local tournaments uh, because of the ongoing, I'm going to say climate of the world because I don't want to get demonetized. You know what I'm talking about. We're not allowed to gather in small places uh, or in, <laughs> we're not allowed to gather a lot of people into one place. But Pokemon has kind of been having a community um i'd say a goal of keeping the competitive scene alive uh, a lot of vgc players have been hosting grassroots tournaments online uh, and all we've been hoping for is two things for an official online tournament that isn't just an international challenge and for the ability to watch other people's battles one of those things for sure has just been like fulfilled by the Pokemon company. Let's get into it. This is some pretty exciting news. So I'm going to be reading this article to you guys uh, and just breaking it down as to what it means. So play Pokemon Players Cup Online Tournament, Pokemon TCG, Pokemon Tournament DX, and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Masters Division competitors in the Pokemon TCG, Pokemon Sword and Shield, blah, 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 and the game that no one plays uh, will have a chance to prove that they're the best in a prestigious new online tournament, the Pokemon Players Cup. Not only will this event give you the chance to show that you are among the strongest competitors in the world, but you can also look forward to watching lots of high-level matches between top trainers. That's where I think the second part comes in. You're going to be able to watch other people play online because they're definitely not going to gather us into a, into a, a small room. That's illegal. <laughs> that means that they have the means of allowing people to watch uh, a Pokemon battle that's taking place online while they are not in the same room. I think we might be getting online spectator battles like we've been asking for, but that's just speculation. Let's get to the facts. The Pokemon Players Cup will have two stages. In July, eligible players will compete in the double elimination bracket broken down by rating zones to determine who the top players in each rating zone. These top finishers will face off in the final stage of the Pokemon Players Cup in August, essentially sort of a pseudo world championships, uh, when, the player, when the player will be crowned as the champion of the Pokemon Players Cup and earn a travel award to future international championship events. Um, so basically, they're not really willing to give us a cash prize, but they are willing to give us um, a travel reward uh, to be like, hey man, y you did it, you're one of the best players. You can pretty much travel at a very low price to a high level tournament that's what they're giving us which i think is it's fair i would have preferred like a cash payout for top players uh to sort of make up for the fact that there's no worlds but who knows maybe they'll put that money that they would have put into the world championships into the entirety of next year's circuit and maybe we'll get higher you know payouts and more um money just being pumped into uh putting on these online or real life events Pokemon TCG and VGC competitors will need to qualify through their performance in upcoming events. Pokemon TCG competitors will qualify for the Pokemon Players Cup through ranking on the June leaderboard, standard format tournament rep in the Pokemon trading card game online. Pokemon Sword and Shield competitors will qualify through the International Challenge May online competition, which runs from the 21st to the 24th. And will use the 2020 video game championships format in order to blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. So... While normally there wouldn't have been too much of an incentive uh, to really try in the um, international challenges, now we actually have a pretty big incentive. Uh, before it was like, okay, you get some battle points, you get a couple of in-game rewards, uh, but because there's no format this year, or because there's there's no official circuit, uh, there wasn't any championship point play out, payout. Uh, where now, you can actually qualify if, if you're top 256, if you're top 256 in your region, so if you're in North America and you get top 256 in this tournament, you qualify for this double elimination tournament, which is really, really cool. I, I think that's that's so cool. And then, you know, after the double elimination tournament, um, top, what was it? Uh, in August, uh, do, 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 these top will face off in the final stage, Pokemon Players Cup in August. So the first stage is in July, where you're in the double elimination bracket, uh, and the top people sort of like a top cut for each person in their own individual brackets. So there would be a North America double elimination, a Europe double elimination, Oceania, Latin America. The, the top cut of that, top players, will face off in this pseudo world championships in August, which is normally when Worlds takes place. That's really, really cool. The the one thing is only Master Vision players will be able to Com uh, we'll be able to compete in this. Uh, apologies to all of my seniors and juniors uh, viewers. Uh, that That's a little bit unfortunate, but I, I think this is really, really interesting. So uh, I will definitely be streaming my May online 
uh, international championship run or international challenge run uh, to, and I definitely, I want to practice now. Like I have, I have had such little motivation to actually practice this game considering there was no official competitions. Um, I, I did practice for the championships cup and I did okay. I didn't actually make top cut, but I got kind of close. I, now we have an incentive to actually try. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Um, I'll be keeping you guys updated on all this news uh, regarding the Players' Cup. Uh, so if you guys want to stay updated, be sure to leave a like on this video. We got a bunch of views in the last video. If everyone left a like on that video, we would have gotten over 600 likes. So if you want to leave me a like on this video, uh, I'd really appreciate it. It helps you grow the channel. Uh, and if you want to subscribe and turn on notifications so you stay updated with all this news and other competitive Pokemon content, uh, I'd really appreciate that. But with that, I'm going to call you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like if you like, blah, blah, blah. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.